friends, it's Miss B back again for our next art lesson. I hope you're ready to have some fun and get creative and a little bit messy. Today, the materials you're gonna need are some paints. I have red, blue, and yellow, the primary colors. You can use acrylic paint, temper paint, whatever kind of paint you have lying around as long as it's liquid. I also have spoons, actually mine are sporks, but anything that you can use to scoop will do just fine. And you'll need more than one. And a bunch of bowls. And most importantly, we have some balls of different shapes and different sizes. You might have noticed, but Miss B loves to make art with stuff that's unexpected because then you get an unexpected result. Let's see what we can do with these materials. As always, when we're working with paint, you're gonna need an apron or something to protect your clothing. And some paper. Because we're painting, you need paper that's a little bit stronger and a little bit sturdier than your everyday paper. And most importantly, we need some kind of tray or box to put it in. I'm using this plastic tray, but I also have this great box that I found in my classroom. Today, we are gonna be using ordinary things like balls to paint. I have some golf balls that have this really great bumpy texture to them. I have some ping pong balls, which are smooth and light. I have marbles. And I have one big plastic ball that I found in my closet. We are going to dip each one of these different sorts of balls into paint. This is where my bowls come in. I'm gonna put one of each kind of ball in each bowl, maybe two. And then I am going to pour paint on top of the balls into each bowl. Some red, this is where you probably need a grown-up some blue oh my goodness oops and a little bit of yellow three bowls three different colors now that i have all of my paint poured into each of my bowls on top of my balls it's time to have some fun Let's start with this box. What do you think would happen if I used my spoon to scoop some of the marbles into my box? Let's try it. I'm gonna stir them to make sure they are all painty. I'm gonna put in this marble. Nothing happened yet. But what happens if I lift my tray? <gasps> the ball leaves a track wherever it goes. I can make it go back. I can make it go forward. I can make it bounce. What happens if I use a different color? Hmm. This time I'm going to use this ping pong ball. Let's see what happens. Whoa, it makes a different sort of track. It's bigger and it moves much slower than my marble does. Look at that, it leaves a track. What happens when I use blue? Let's try this marble. Whoa, another new track. Marbles move really quickly and they leave a smaller mark. What happens when I use 
a golf ball. I'm going to put my golf ball in the red paint. I carefully lift it with my spoon and drop it in the box. Let's see what happens. Whoa! Because it has a bumpy texture, it leaves a different sort of mark on my paper. And it moves really fast, too. This big ball. What sort of mark will it make? A big mark? A small mark? A zigzaggy mark? Let's see. Whoa, look at the size of that. If I move slowly, I can almost control where my ball goes. It leaves a big, messy mark. Let's try a small marble. What sort of marks will that make? Let's try it with different sorts of balls and see what different sorts of marks we can make. What happens when I use this big ball? What sort of mark will it make? A big mark? A small mark? A zigzaggy mark? Let's see. Whoa, look at the size of that. If I move slowly, I can almost control where my ball goes. It leaves a big, messy mark. Let's try a small marble. What sort of marks will that make? Whoa, small marks. Well, friends, I hope you had as much fun making your marble paintings as I did. I hope to see them hanging up in your classroom. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget to be creative and have fun and get a little messy. See you soon. Bye.